Lokayukta officials. Around 15 officials have reached his uh, premises. The MLA supporters are also gathering in front of his uh, residence. This comes after Lokayukta police found 6 crore rupees at the residence uh, of his son. Uh, so this is a recovery that has been made uh, around 6 crore rupees. The supporters of the MLA uh, feel that he is being targeted uh, and uh, they, are, they are now uh, trying to obstruct uh, the Lokayukta police. Uh, but the police is trying to press forward with its uh, job. Ritu is with me on the phone line. Ritu, details. Well, exactly. You see now that the raids are also on at the BGP MLA's house in Dawangare. So this is a major crackdown. Again, you see the local officials are doing against the one of the BJP MLAs here in the Karnataka ahead of the assembly elections. And this is a crucial time again where you see Union Home Minister Amit Shah is also here in the Karnataka in Bidh for the Vijay Sankalpa Yatra, their mega campaign that is on. So today happens to be the third and the fourth Vijay Sankalpa Yatra as well. With all that, you see now this whole Luka Yukta's uh, raid at his uh, son's place and also his place has now brought them under the scanner. And there again, you see the Congress going on and uh, alleging the corruption against the BJP government as well. But when we talk about the kind of, uh, uh, you know, the materials that have been seized from the BJP uh, MLA's house, in fact, you see in the visuals that you can see on uh, the laptop and the other electronic devices are being uh, seized by the Luka Yukta officials. But with that, uh, almost you see the crores of rupees from his office and also from his uh, uh, house or uh, 6.10 crores rupees has been seized. So, so that's a huge amount that has been seized by the Loka Yukta. So you see this is uh, the major crackdown after uh, uh, the Karnataka High Court gave that sole power back to the uh, Loka Yukta in the uh, Karnataka by abolishing the anti-corruption bureau body where the BJP government had went on to uh, alleged against the uh, Congress party and now with the Luka Yukta coming back uh, to the power, this is another major crackdown that the body has done it. But you remember this particular independent body has also done a major crackdown earlier as well. Uh, in fact, the body took the whole strict action as well against the former Chief Minister B.S. Yadurapa, the Lingayat, the strongman and BJP stall leader as well. So he too didn't, wasn't you know, spared by the uh, Luka Yukta. So that's the kind of work that the Luka Yukta is doing. So that's the reason you see even as the Congress party is alleging this uh, corruption, 40% corruption and the other corruption allegations against the BJP government, CM Basura's Bomai goes on to say that it's the BJP government who has in fact uh, uh, re-established the Luka Yukta and abolished the ACP to ensure that the transparent investigation takes place and anyone who is culprit should not be spared. But politically speaking, can you just analyze this a little more, Ritu, the Lokayukta police, like you are pointing out, we are counting down to the assembly elections. Home Minister Amit Shah is there in that state. Uh, before that, for the Lokayukta police to take this kind of action? Well, you see, that's the whole reason why uh, what the, uh, the BJP MLA, in fact, himself had to say that this is a major conspiracy being hatched against him and his family uh, members. And there again, he has no uh, links with the uh, Loka Yukta's raid as well. So again, there, uh, you know, the political angle also coming into the light that we can see now uh, very clearly with the kind of statements that he had uh, uh, given out to the CM Basuraj Bomai while writing his uh, uh, letter to uh, him. So that's the kind of thing which actually shows us how there are, again, the political, uh, uh, you know, angles as well inside this whole story. But now this will unfold in a major way ahead of the assembly election for which we will have to wait and see. Now, who all are behind it, whether when he says the conspiracy uh, being hashed against him and his family there. Right. Ritu, keep an eye on that story. It is developing. We'll come back to you. But like you were saying that there are political ramifications uh, to this action by the Lokayakta police. Let's listen into how the politicians in Karnataka are reacting, starting with Congress leader D.K. Shivakumar. Sakshi Keltaidala Mukeman Tigre, Ila New Rajana Kurtiro, Yar Rajana Mekirbekinano, Mukeman Tin Rajana Mekirbeko, Mukeman Tri, Rajana Mekotre, Asanaku Gorva. Again, they do Sakshi Bekala, is Sakshi Nama, the Karigale, Lokakta, the Karigale, Kotida, Nimgunam K, the Lokakta, Namgulam K, Namke, Lokakta, the Karigale, Sakshi Kutra, do the end side. Sashakara Putra, Nine Loka Actora, Vandu Loka Actoru, you know, Gali Madigare, Trap Madigare. I wish the Lee Stale Westerne. 
ನಾವು ಲೋಕಾಯುಕ್ತ ಪುನರ್ಸ್ಥಾಪನೆ ಮಾಡಿರುವುದೇ ಮುಕ್ತವಾಗಿ ಭ್ರಷ್ಟಾಚಾರವನ್ನು ನಿಗ್ರಹಿಸಬೇಕು ಅಂತ ಈ ಲೋಕಾಯುಕ್ತ ಇಲ್ಲದಿದ್ದರೆ ಹಿಂದೆ ಇಂಥ ಹಲವಾರು ಪ್ರಕರಣಗಳು ಕಾಂಗ್ರೆಸ್ಸಲ್ಲಿ ನಡೆದು ಮುಚ್ಚೋಗಿ ನಾವು ನಿಷ್ಪಕ್ಷಪಾತವಾಗಿ ತನಿಖೆ ಮಾಡ್ತೇನೆ ನಾನು ಪದೇ ಪದೇ ಹೇಳ್ತಾ ಇದ್ದೆ ಈ ವಿಚಾರದಲ್ಲೂ ಕೂಡ ಲೋಕಾಯುಕ್ತ ಸರ್ವಸ್ವತಂತ್ರವಾಗಿರುವಂಥ ಒಂದು ಸಂಸ್ಥೆ ನಿಷ್ಪಕ್ಷಪಾತವಾದಂಥ ತನಿಖೆ ಆಗಲಿ we stand vindicated today the congress government has been accusing uh, the congress party has been accusing bjp government saying it's a 40% uh, government and this is the most corrupt government in the country and it's proved today so the uh, chief minister of karnataka keeps asking us to produce documents what more documents does he require all the documents that is required can be found in bjp mla's house and minister's offices so the it's high time that the Uh, cm owns up responsibility and resigns if he really thinks that he's done great work let him uh, dissolve the assembly and let's go for election right now what is stopping him or uh, is there more collection for the election left